The first couple episodes of MASH show, Magic and Muscles, could be best described as unexceptional and unremarkable. I'm glad I didn't go into this with high expectations, otherwise I would have been very underwhelmed by what we've gotten so far. Before I get into my thoughts on these episodes, let me explain what this anime is for those that are unfamiliar with it. This show is an adaptation of a comedy adventure manga written by Hajime Kamoto and is animated by A1 Pictures. The series follows Mashal Burn Dead, a magicless boy that lived in the forest with his father Regro. Unbeknownst to Mashal, Regro has been hiding him his entire life since he can't use magic. Their tranquil life together is threatened when Mashal is discovered as being unmarked while getting some food in the city. Brad Coleman, a magic policeman, eventually tracks them down using magic and ends up fighting him as he tries to save Regro. Thanks to Mashal's daily physical training, he's able to repel his magic and defeat him. After their battle, Brad decides to make a deal with him. In order to live in peace with his father again, Mashal must obtain the prestigious title of Divine Visionary and thus begins attending Easton Magical Academy. Mashal, Magic and Muscles is like a mix between Black Clover, Harry Potter, and One Punch Man. Unfortunately, it isn't shaping up to be as good as any of the properties that the author seems to have been inspired by. I'd be lying if I said this didn't come across as a little derivative and by the numbers as a shonen series. It honestly felt like I was watching a worse version of One Punch Man set in a fantasy world with a less endearing lead character. Mashal is a pretty straightforward protagonist which I'm sure is by design. The only slightly interesting and unique aspects about the world introduced so far is the fact that people who can use magic have markings on their bodies and those that can't are killed indiscriminately. So basically a character like Oster from Black Clover would have been put to death in this world. Other than that though, Mashal isn't doing anything new or innovative with its characters or its world so far. Moreover, the things this show is doing isn't being done exceptionally well. This is supposed to be a very humorous anime but the comedy in this really sucks. The comedic moments in this series so far have fallen completely flat. Stuff like Masho breaking a door because he doesn't know how to use it or him dribbling a magic ball of energy wasn't the least bit amusing to me. None of the lighthearted scenes throughout these first two episodes were actually funny. The most this show has gotten out of me was one small little chuckle when Masho breaks the lock during one of his lessons at school. Even then that was something anyone could have seen coming but in that instance I think timing was a factor as to why that worked. In addition to the comedy, the writing in general could be a lot better too. When I first saw the trailers for Mashal, I was immediately turned off by its visuals and the overall presentation. This is the ugliest show I've seen from A1 Pictures. I expected something of a higher quality from the studio that produced shows like Sword Art Online, Grimgar Fantasy and Ash, and Kaguya-sama. There's something so unappealing about the artwork and the art style of this anime. I've never read the Mashal manga so I'm not sure the studio is just staying true to Komoto style but this just doesn't look good to me. The animation isn't the greatest either but at least it's not as bad as I originally thought when I initially watched its first couple episodes. The effects used for the magic spells are honestly the best looking thing in the series thus far. Aside from the visuals, the soundtrack is a mixed bag. The hip hop style tracks are nice but they seem so out of place for the setting of this series. To give this show some credit, the pacing seems good so far and there hasn't been a lot of exposition. Plus, the flashbacks focusing on regrow weren't amazing or anything but they at least give the audience a reason to care about the character during the situation with Brad. The brief look back on Regro's life up to the point he found Mashal was honestly the most enjoyable part of the premiere for me. As of right now, this series is currently at its best when it's not trying to get a quick laugh out of the viewer but instead focuses on the characters. The second episode where Mashal is participating in the Easton Academy entrance exams was mostly boring to me apart from his interview with the headmaster Wahlberg Bygone. The scene where he tests Mashal by seeing how he'd react by putting his dad's soul in the puppet was the best part of the episode. His actions and responses to the headmaster do more to define his character past his love for cream puffs. As it stands, Mashal Magic and Muscles is a show that fails consistently at its comedic attempts and isn't doing enough to stand apart from the stuff it's attempting to emulate. I can't recommend this based on what I've seen so far, especially since there are way better alternatives out there. It's not the worst show I've seen this season, but it's definitely at the bottom tier. Anyway, if you've seen this anime, let me know what you guys thought about it in the comment section below. And as always, thanks for watching.